Hey guys, I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. You're watching our second show of the Winter NAMM show here in Anaheim, California. We've got Jeff Bober, a.k.a. Ask Amp Man. Been writing for Premier Guitar for years. Jeff, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you doing, Sean? Doing good. Still waking up. Uh, adjusting to NAMM. Um, so you have a new amp. You're, you, uh, you have a long storied history in the world of amps and uh, your company, East Amps, has a new amp called the Duality, right? Correct. It's the uh, new Duality series, and this is, this particular amp is a 30-watt version, but it will more than likely come out in the 20, 30, and probably 50-watt versions of this amp. Same feature set. Okay, so it's uh, this one is the 20-watt? 30. Uh, 30, 30 sorry. Watt to, uh, four EL84s, two 10s in this particular combo, and it'll come out uh, as a head as well. Okay, so a couple of channels? Uh, yeah, two discrete channels, uh, that share tone controls, but two discrete channels. Uh, my earlier Easts were more geared towards the guys that really knew how to tweak a boutique amp, where you know an extra gain stage would come in, but there was, um, it, the controls were interactive, and you had to kind of know how to work your volume control on a guitar, which most players do anyway. Uh, but this is, it's a little bit more uh, of a plug and play kind of thing where, um, you know, people can walk into a music store, plug in and get two really cool discrete sounds like they should be able to do out of, out of an amp. So uh, where before we were just doing direct to the player, we were selling direct. Now we plan on having these in a select group of, of really nice boutique stores. Do you, are you able to say which stores those are right now? Uh, not yet. We're still getting the dealer network together. Um, but we really want to focus on a handful of stores that know how to represent a, a great boutique product so that when the player walks in, they have people that can actually tell them about this amp instead of just walking in and having a, a cold experience. So you know how that is. Yeah. Yeah, we want to focus. So cool. So when we came into the amp, you came into the video, uh, Andrew was playing, and you have the, the uh, EQ at a little past noon. And uh, tell us what else is going on. Okay. I guess the treble's a little lower, huh? It is, it is, and the uh, this actually... All right, let me go through the feature set on this for you. The uh, clean channel, or rhythm channel, has a, a gain, volume, and a master. The drive channel has a drive, volume, and a master. Shared EQ with a very cool, uh, unique tone feature uh, that gives the amp three different voices. I call it an Abe switch, A-B-E, which is American, British, and East. And you know three different tone signatures, not night and day, but different enough where you can get comfortable with an amp that you know you're kind of trying to get a sound of without just being um, just being um, stuck with. I don't want to say stuck with, but ju just more tones than just the typical East sounds that I've been known for over the past few years with the last line of East amps. So, um, so now is that what the toggle here is? No, the, the, the uh, Abe switch is actually oh, this three okay. position switch. The toggle here, this toggle is to change channels. It's also foot switchable. This toggle also uh, engages a foot switchable FET gain boost in the front end. So you have two different channels, uh, gain, volume, master, and a foot switchable FET boost in the front end. Um, and it's, it's really, it's the most versatile amp I've ever made. It can go anywhere from really beautiful cleans, the best cleans I've ever done, all the way up to like um, black Moorish kind of bluesy into Larry Carlton-ish kind of feel, all the way into uh, a pretty heavy amp. And a lot of that is accomplished with the Abe switch because to do some of those, your amp actually needs to be voiced a little differently. You know, so this enables you to to fine tune the voicing of the amp as well as the gain structure of the amp. So it's a very, very versatile amp, most versatile I've ever made. Sweet. Now before we have Andrew sort of demo some of the different sounds, can you kind of explain for people, like, like people kind of know what you mean when you say American or British sounding, but for people who aren't as familiar with your stuff, why don't you kind of try to describe what the East sound is? Wow, the East sound. Um, well, I'm assuming they know what American and British is, yeah. you know, more or less. The East, you know, I, I really don't know how to describe it. Um, I've heard people plug into my amp and get like 
I don't want to say it, but D, D style sounds out of the amp, you know. Um, it's just a fuller, smoother type of overdrive, uh, not too bottom heavy, not brittle on the top, um, with a, I guess if I had to uh, give you a, a description uh, as far as the mids go, because the guitar is a mid instrument, probably accentuated lower mids. So it's, it's a very, very full sound as opposed to the Marshall, sorry, British version, which, which is a very mid-heavy, and the American version, which is a very scooped kind of sound. Uh, so yeah, the, the, the tone variations on there are, are, are... Why don't we hear that sound right now, since we're talking about it, hear the East, and then maybe we can go to the A and B, the American and British okay, sounds sure, on there. Sure, sure, okay. Okay, Jeff, so you tweaked some knobs there. I guess when we came in on the video, you had it set to the East clean sound, and we're going to start there again and then morph over to the dirt sound. Great, I'll just give you a reference. So we'll do a little bit of East clean. And like I said, there's, a, there's more of a lower mid content to this than a typical F. And then we can go over into the East overture. Nice and big and meaty. Uh, I can also take you into, with a flick of a switch, I can go more of the M style. You know, so we can, we can do that. So that's, a, that's the British voicing and it's a little bit more cutting. More cutting in the, in the mids where those types of amps are. And uh, we can flick to uh, a little bit of American here. So a little, a little more on the bottom than the than the B style, uh, and a little bit more in your face on the on the upper end. And uh, we can go all the way to kind of hardcore here. Sure. Now we'll bring in, now we'll bring in the FET boost. So it's a, it's a pretty full feature now. Yeah, it sounds really good. So, and that was on the American voice still at the end, just cranked up. Yeah, because the American voice is actually the best suited for a nice scooped metal type of tone because it already starts out as a partially scooped sound. So you, it, it just accentuates that. Sweet. Now, how much is this going for, Jeff? The, uh, the 20 watt head version should start right about 19 and we work up from there depending on combos, speaker configurations and power. Why don't you tell people where to go online to find out about this model and all the stuff you do? www.eastamplification.com uh, We're just starting to redo that website. Also be sure to go to the East Amplification Facebook page. Uh, we do many more updates there. They can go right now and find the feature set for this and everything else and we'll keep updating both as we can. Awesome. Thanks, Jeff. Thank Thanks, you, Andrew. And of course, don't forget to check out Jeff's awesome column on PremierGuitar.com. I'm Sean Hammond for Premier Guitar. Thanks for joining us.